everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Georgia, and today I'm going to be watching the Sex Education Season 4 trailer. Oh my god! Oh, I remember like this time two years ago when Season 3 came out. I was so nervous. I was like, this is going to be the final season, isn't it? I just had this really awful feeling that they were going to suddenly reveal that that was the end of the show. But I clearly wasn't well versed in Netflix enough to know that they announced the final season before the season actually starts premiering. So now we know that season 4 is the final season of Sex Education and it's to be expected really. Everything seems to be ending up four seasons these days. But also like they can't carry on being teenagers forever, the actors. And considering there's been like a two year gap since season three and there was like a two year gap between seasons two or three as well they've aged so much uh, since season one started premiering so i get it i'm so sad though because this is one of my favorite shows ever and i really hope they can stick the landing i am kind of nervous i don't usually like to watch the trailers for things before i watch them especially if i'm going to react to them but because i love this show so much i can't hold off <laughs> like I've watched the trailer before each season and it's never ruined my experience so I'm gonna watch it. I haven't stayed up to date on like whether there's any new characters being introduced. I assume there probably will be because I remember them announcing pretty early on after it got renewed that a few cast members wouldn't be returning. The anxiety in me was like oh my god Emma Mackey's not coming back but thankfully she is. But unless things have changed since then because that was a long time ago now. I believe Lily and Ola aren't returning and also Olivia because Simone Ashley is in Bridgerton now. It'll be interesting to see if there is a bit of a vibe shift with those characters missing. Uh, thankfully none of them are like in my face. I would be absolutely heartbroken if, if, if like Emma Mackey didn't return because Maeve is one of the best characters in my opinion. I don't think I'm going to miss Lily, Ola and Olivia too much. The one I'd miss the most is Lily because I feel like she brings the biggest chaos although last season her story was quite sad but like her her sex play from season two still rings true in my memory i loved it so much but lily and Ola's story ended quite nicely in season three so i don't really know where they'd go with them anyway so hopefully they're not missed too much they released this trailer so close to the release date like it's literally nine days to go do they normally do it this close to the fire like you almost think there's no point even having one as it's this close but Anyway, I'm going to be savouring it up nonetheless. I always get so nervous when I'm about to watch something I'm excited about because it's like the anticipation has been building up to this. God knows what I'm going to be like when season four actually premieres. Starting episode one and eight is going to be painful. Oh, right. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Gene to walk in. But I won't do wow. Wow. Oh, I forget how much I love the show already. <laughs> already, I'm like, ah, the colours, the 80s vibe. Oh, Cavendish College. Wow. Yeah, they're going to a new one. Oh, well, this is different. Who is that? She's rating them. <laughs> My healing journey. Call in and tell me your problems. There is another sex therapist on campus. <gasps> she knows who he is. What is it? Can you not tell? <laughs> Who are we thinking the father is? He's not the father. Oh! I know it's been hard, but I still need a mum. Oh god. People. That seems gonna make me cry, I already know it. <laughs> this is the show that makes me cry like no other. Like, <laughs> if you watch my season three reactions, I don't know if I want you to. Because <laughs> I cried so much. I cried so much over the little 
scenes in this show, I think because it hits home so much, the dialogue is always so amazing, the writing of this show is excellent, there's so many heartfelt scenes, even if you can't really relate to them, I feel like I know people that can relate to them, it just really hits home and reminds you of like struggles that you've been through and are going through, so <laughs> I think the finale is going to make me cry so much, the season 3 finale I was already a wreck, <laughs> let alone the final episode knowing it will be. Doing all these new things and... Sometimes I feel like I'm getting left behind. And I don't know that you're coming back. Oh, is Maeve gonna meet someone else? Rotis fans are gonna be living. I wanna know who you are. I wanna hear your voice. You have to believe that you deserve good things. You have to love yourself. Amy and I said my shit! to believe that you deserve good things you have to love yourself i need to see adam and his dad have a conversation this season as well i was waiting for that for all of season three and it never happened so this has to be the season it's the last chance but I just <sighs> you should try and enjoy the journey It doesn't last forever. Oh, stop! Mom. September the 21st. Oh my god, it won't last forever. Why can't it end with that right at the end? Let's finish together. You oh! Try and enjoy the journey. You should watch everything twice. <gasps> oh my god! Yes, 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 yes. That doesn't last forever. No, I won't do that. Amazing song choice as well. Yeah, there was no sign of Lily Oliver in that, so they, they aren't going to be in it, I think. It still looks good, it still has the same feeling to it, the same, like, you know, youthful vibrance, the same comedy, the same love for the characters, it just reignited everything in me, really. <laughs> What's interesting, though, is they haven't really given much away with regards to the relationships, like... There's obviously Otis and Maeve are together, but they're in different countries, which is wild for the final season. Like, people have waited for them to be together for so long, and then the final season, they're in a separate country. Like, God knows, Maeve might only come back at the end and break up with it or something, who knows? I should put it out there, because most people probably haven't seen my season 3 reactions. I, I don't love <laughs> Maeve and Otis or Ruby and Otis, so I really kind of don't care if he ends up with either of them. There's a lot of warning in the comment section about who Otis should be with whereas I'm just on the don't care train <laughs> like that I don't watch this show for the relationships and that's what I was going to point out like the relationships look all completely different to what we've seen before like Eric looks like he's experimenting with different people Jackson's with this girl who doesn't look familiar Adam's on his own I guess just finding himself Otis is with Maeve but they're in different countries, Ruby looks like she just wants to be friends with Otis, they're not really on a relationship level, but they could end up being, who knows, I don't know who they're gonna go with at the end game, I feel like they might go with no one, Amy's pleasuring herself so she's alone as well, like everyone seems kind of broken up and not many people are actually in the relationships, I think this is gonna be more of a self discovery season rather than focusing on the relationships and everyone could end up alone, like I don't know. They built up to Maeve and Otis for so long, I feel like those fans would be so mad if they didn't end up together. But on the other hand, I feel like most people ship Ruby and Otis now, which is wild to me. <laughs> like, I, I personally don't see it. I didn't love them in a relationship. If I had to pick, I probably do prefer Maeve and Otis, but... I also don't at the same time. I just don't ship both. I like Maeve and Otis's friends. I like Ruby and Otis's friends. I just don't ship them. No sign of Jakob. Is Jakob not coming back? That could be the biggest loss for me because I love Jakob and I love Jakob and Jean. In season one, they were my favourite ship. It looks like Jean is just being a single mom and oh, if Jakob's not in it, I'm going to be heartbroken. Lots of 
Otis and Eric scenes in that trailer which I love as well. I feel like we didn't get as many of those last season and Otis and Eric's friendship was kind of what really got me into the show I think when I first started watching it. Like I loved seeing a gay straight friendship that was so normalised. Like they are front and centre of the show and never has any toxic masculinity been displayed there or any problems with regards to Eric's sexuality like the Hedwig episode bruh <sighs> I'm glad they are kind of rounding it back to that like where they first started with Eric and Otis's friendship being really core to the show I'm, I'm saying this as if I've seen the season this is purely based off the trailer it could be minuscule these are just my assumptions uh, as I said I think it's going to be a lot of self-discovery finding out who you are and focusing more on the friendships rather than relationships this season but that's just my guess and I'm not mad about that I, I don't watch this show the romantic relationships because I like the dynamics between every character they manage to make even the most random side characters and their interactions with the mains so funny and heartwarming at the same time that's something this show does so well they give each character a really heartfelt moment even like the bitchy ones like olivia and uh, anwar they've had surprisingly heartfelt moments over the course of the show they do give everyone their time to shine and it's the characters that really sell this show for me and this is the last hurrah, I'm so sad. <laughs> That's it for today guys, I put my reaction to the season four sex education trailer. If you want to watch my reactions to season three, I will leave the playlist linked in the description below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the season four premiere. Bye.